Hello everybody, glad you've joined us today for our devotional. What we're gonna to do today is an object lesson. And you can see who I have with me here, my partner. This is Char Char. Let me read this to you and we'll just continue on. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus and he said, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Jesus called a little child to him and set him in the midst of them. And he said, assuredly I say to you, unless you become converted, and become as little children, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. I want you to get a good close look at this face. Look at this child. Jesus said, unless we become like these little children, we will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Well, I wanna make this observation. No child or no person is ever born a sinner. Look at this face. This is a pure, innocent child. It is true that we are born into a world of sin, but we are not born sinners. Char Char has never sinned one time. Just think about that for a minute. Now, when you go to the book of James, chapter 1, verses 13, 14, and 15, it says that each one is drawn away by his own desires and enticed by the things that he or she will do which begins the process of sin. So there is always a process to sin, but children are pure and innocent. And what it does is really it all comes down to choice. You gotta love James one and verse 14. James one and verse 14 says that I am responsible for my own decisions. I am responsible for my own choices. So what we need to do today is focus on childlike qualities. Can I become pure and innocent? I can through the blood of Jesus. You know, we're told in Romans chapter three and verse 23, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And it is true when we look at Romans chapters one, two, and three, it teaches us about the sinful nature of man when we are old enough to make those choices that separate us from God. I'm reminded of the prophet Isaiah in chapter 59 verses one and two. He says, your sins and your iniquities have separated you and your God. So what is it that separates us from God? When we choose to go against God's will, God's plan, and God's purposes for our lives. So what we need to do after we get outside of this stage of purity and innocence, what we need to do then is recognize the need to reach the blood of Jesus. Now, how do we do that? Well, we have to hear the teaching of Jesus. Faith comes by hearing, hearing through and by the word of God. We have to believe what we hear to be the truth. Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Jesus also said that the process is called repentance, where we make a 180 degree turn in our lives. I tell you nay, but unless you repent, you shall all likewise perish. And then when Jesus was baptized, a dove descended upon him in the form of the Holy Spirit, and God said, this is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased, hear ye him. So we have to confess the fact that Jesus is the Christ, the son of God. Now, we consummate all of that by being immersed or baptized into Christ, and then and there is when we reach the blood of Christ. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be condemned. We read in Mark 16 and verse 16. So there is the process. But remember again in our object lesson, unless you become as little children and be converted, you shall by no means enter the kingdom of God. Well, Char Char has been a great object lesson today, and I hope that you've been from it as well. Have a great day today.